Good day to you, my dear brothers and sisters. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. This is Father Ron Sandoval, SVD, and I welcome you to this moment with Jesus, the Word of God. Today is April 29, Thursday of the fourth week of Easter. But today, the Church also remembers St. Catherine of Siena, Virgin and Doctor of the Church. She is a lay member of the Dominican Order. She is an author, a stigmatist, an activist. She died at the age of 33 and she was um, declared saint of the church in the year 1461. She was canonized in 1461 and uh, alongside with Teresa of Avila, she is the first woman to be declared doctor of the church. She is also known as the patron saint of Europe. Samahan niyo po ko sa ating pakikinig at pagninilay sa salita ng Diyos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Paphos, Paul and his companions set sail and arrived at Perga in Pamphylia. But John left them and returned to Jerusalem. They continued on from Perga <clears throat> and reached Antioch in Pisidia. On the Sabbath, they entered into the synagogue and took their seats. After reading of the law and the prophets, the synagogue officials sent word to them, My brothers, if one of you has a word of exhortation for the people, please speak. So Paul got up, motioned with his hand and said, Fellow children of Israel and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people Israel chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm, he led them out, and for about forty years he put up with them in the desert. When he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance at the end of about four hundred and fifty years. After these things, he provided judges up to Samuel the prophet. Then they asked for a king. God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin, for 40 years. Then he removed him and raised up David as their king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus. John heralded this coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Psalm 89 Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil, I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the rock my Savior. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Gospel Antiphone Jesus Christ, you are the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead. You have loved us and freed us from our sins by your blood. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, he said to them, 
Amen, amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen, but so that the scripture might be fulfilled. The one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. From now on, I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the Father who sent me. This is the word of Jesus in today's Gospel reading. Yesterday, the emphasis was whoever sees me and believes in me have believed and seen also the Father who sent me. Today, Jesus is... Um, translating or trans or, or giving this this relationship of him to the father to the disciples no he did, he dis, he does not or he did not stop in saying that i was the one sent by the father because he said to the disciples i am sending you and whoever receives you receives me in the very same way that i am res whoever receives me receives the father who sends me so look at that kind of flow it's not Jesus anymore working in the sense, but his disciples whom he has sent. And whoever receives these disciples, these messengers of Jesus, receives him. No? In the same way that as he was sent by the Father, no? or whoever receives him, receives also the Father who sent him. So uh, that kind of transferring the authority to the disciples. And until, up till our age now, we are still being sent. And whoever receives us, receives Jesus who sent us. You know, and whoever receives Jesus, yeah, receives the Father. The, the end station is the Father. No, the end station is the Father because the Father is the one in, hev in, in, in heaven. And heaven is our end station. So it's as if, as if we're going back to the Father through Jesus. And now in our time, we are the ones being sent. L look at this, no? And, and how are we being sent? By service. Serving our brothers and sisters in the very same way that the symbol, beautiful symbolism of washing the feet of, of the uh, disciples. No? These are considered slaves or, or students of the master, student of the teacher. Now they are now his friends. You are no longer the slaves, you are friends, friends of God. Because what was released, uh, the information given to Jesus by the Father, He is also giving us now. So, ipinapaubaya na ni Jesus sa atin, sa kanyang pangalan, no? still in His name, the missionary activity of the church. Again, we are being sent by Jesus and our sending is based on service. That is the mission, to serve, to serve in the name of God, our brothers and sisters. No? That kind of sending, that kind of attitude is the continuation also of um, the story in the Acts of the Apostles in the first reading when Barnabas and and uh, um, and Paul, after landing in Cyprus and in Palmis, they went further. They went further to Paphos, where Saul became Paul. No, that's very important. And then from there, they set from Perga in Pamphylia to Antioch in Pisidia. No, and it happened in this place in Antioch and Pisidia, still in Cyprus. No, that as they were in the synagogue, Paul. The first, the first homily of Paul no, to the listeners in the synagogue. And it's beautiful that he started with the history, the history that everyone knows. So he traced the history from the, from the um, getting out of the slavery in Egypt, no, the, the, the experiences, the exodus in the desert, and, and the sending of um, the, the kings, Saul, and then eventually David, and then declaring that from the from the descendant of David, God will choose the Messiah. No? And then he started saying that this Messiah is Jesus, whom John the Baptist even says, I am not worthy of untying 
no? He the, the, the unfastening the, the sandals of his feet. And so, look at that, the very importance of, of the Old Testament. This is very important. That's why the Old Testament is included in our Bible. Our Bible is the Old Testament and New Testament. Because the Old Testament contains the promise. And the Old Testament points to Jesus. The New Testament is the fulfillment of the, pro of, of the promise. The New Testament refers to Jesus who is the fulfillment of the promise that was given in the Old Testament. No? Again, the Old Testament points to the New Testament and the New Testament is the fulfillment of the promise in the Old Testament. So the two should be go, go, going together. No? Pag Old Testament lang, then it's not us. It's not for Christians. Old Testament is the Bible of the Jews. New Testament only, it's very difficult to understand. Maybe we, do, we will not have the complete information about Jesus if the Old Testament will be removed uh, from, from us. No, So we are Christians, yes, and uh, we are following the New Testament, but the Old Testament will help us to understand more Jesus in the New Testament. No, Again, because He is the fulfillment of the promise in the Old Testament. So that is how it, it went. No, And now again, going back to Jesus in today's Gospel, He is sending us and He is sending us by serving our brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, examination of conscience tayo. Are we doing this? Are we messengers of Jesus? But again, before we become messengers of Jesus, Jesus must really be in our hearts. We cannot give what we do not have. Is Jesus is already in your heart? Is, is Jesus the one managing your life? Is your life already patterned after the commandments of Jesus? na malinis na yung ating buhay, we are trying in our best ways to, to avoid sin and to follow the commandment of Jesus. Do we follow the church that He has founded, no? the Catholic Church? Do we receive the sacraments? Do we, do we really know Him by reading the, the, the scriptures and uh, knowing Him by the experiences with Him every moment of our lives? No? Do we count our blessings? And then having this in our hearts and in our minds, do we go and share this to other people? Ganun talaga dapat. Jesus must be with us first. We should be filled with His Holy Spirit and then we go and proclaim Him in His words through our mouth or through the way we live our lives. That people are fascinated with us, people are inspired with us because they see Jesus in us and in our lifestyle. Yun po, that's the mission that Jesus has given to us. Sana, sana nagagawa natin ito sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay. In good times, in bad times, as in this pandemic times, all the more that Jesus should be made manifest in our everyday lives. Amen. Gathered together as a people in need, we pray to God the Father with humble hearts, trusting in His great mercy. Father, bless us in Christ that those who exercise leadership in the church may keep their commitment alive in the preaching of the gospel, we pray. Father, bless us in Christ, that those invested with authority may lead and guide the people in the spirit of service, we pray. Father, bless us in Christ, that those who have abandoned their faith may be led back to the family of God, we pray. Father, bless us in Christ, that those disheartened by suffering and sickness may find strength and consolation from Jesus, who was victorious over sin and death, we pray. Father, bless us in Christ, that the faithful departed may receive their eternal reward, we pray. Father, bless us in Christ. In silence, in the silence of our hearts, we bring to God all our needs and concerns, especially for today. Almighty Father, you call us to be with you. May we be faithful in following your Son on the way to your kingdom. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Amen. St. Catherine of Siena, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikiisa sa ating pagninilay ngayong araw na ito. Count your blessings. Siguro this day we can spend in counting our blessings. Magandang araw at magandang buhay sa inyong lahat.